me, Darren from Kingfisher Computers. Okay, today I'm going to show you, the user, how to um, automatically update or install multiple programs using a program called Ninite. Um, basically all this program is, it's a website which will go on um, and then choose the programs which we want to install or if they are already installed, uh, we'll update, we'll download, update that program uh, and install it silently. That's automated. That's no clicking next, 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 I agree, etc. Which can take up a lot of time. So here we go. This is a fresh install of um, Microsoft Windows 10. Um, so what we're going to do, because obviously Windows 10 fresh install only has in Explorer integrated or um, Microsoft Edge. So what I've done here is I've opened Microsoft Edge. Um, and what we're going to do to make it more familiar and easier for you, the user, we're going to go to google.com. <sighs> there we go, google.com. So, we're going to look up the website, ninite.com. So, what we'll do, we'll just type in ninite. That's spelled uh, November Indigo, November Indigo, Tango, X-Ray. So, ninite. The first link, obviously, ninite.com choose this website so here we go this is nine night um, so what we're going to do um, I'm going to choose the programs which I think uh, are required by my users or my customers at Kingfisher Computers so first of all I'll choose Google Chrome then Firefox 2 browsers which are easy to use secure and of course fast um, now I'm going to go over to obviously messaging. Skype, I install this on multiple customers' computers for the simple reason people do use it to contact relatives or family if they are not using obviously FaceTime enabled devices, Microsoft devices, and they might want to use Skype to obviously message of video, FaceTime, etc. their customers, customers, friends and family. Next we've got media. Uh, iTunes. I install iTunes on my customers' computers for the simple reason a lot of people have uh, Apple devices these days, iPods, iPads, iPhones. So these customers might have issues with their iPad um, and it might request that they plug into iTunes. Um, they might want to back up their iPhone or iPad. They might want to update it. So I always install iTunes. VLC and Kali Codex. I install these on people's computers for the simple reason they might have some form of media um, which Windows 10 or Media Player might not play. VLC and K-Lite does play multiple formats across the board. Um, the nice easy programs to use, um, it, it, they can also be used obviously a DVD player or Media Center. Um, next we have our runtimes, uh, Java, .NET, Silverlight, Air uh, and Shockwave. I install these because obviously the, a lot of websites these days use these plugins um, for programs and obviously web based programs. So I always install these for my clients. Next, we have don't use any of these imaging for my customers. We look at documents, don't use these because um, I do tell my customers uh, to either purchase Microsoft Office if they're not going to purchase Microsoft Office. Uh, I do suggest they use Google Docs. Obviously, Google Docs has like a, sh uh, a version of Microsoft Word. Well, it's obviously Google Documents uh, or spreadsheets. Um, we have Spotify. I do install this for my customers uh, if they want to play music, obviously for free. If they're using the free version, they will be able to listen to uh, uh, music of their choice if it is in the Spotify database. Although, obviously, like a radio, it will play adverts. For security, um, for the 13 years I've worked at Kingfisher, we have used Alwill's Avast Antivirus. Um, I do advise this program for the simple reason, in the time I've used it, it's always worked successfully, uh, reliable, and it does find a lot of viruses. So that's the choice for that. Obviously, when customers come to Kingfisher, I don't install AVG. I have used it. It is a fantastic program, but my personal opinion is Avast does blow socks off it. Again, it's a personal opinion. If you like AVG, good for you. Malwarebytes. 
I install malware bytes for the simple reason um, I have used it for several years now. If you have problems with spyware, uh, malware, hijackers, keyloggers, etc., malware bytes will find these issues and remove them. Online storage. Um, I install Dropbox and Google Drive. For the similar, I personally don't use it, although I do have clients that use it, um, so I obviously give them the option to which one. Obviously, with the growth of cloud-based services and data storage, uh, I like to give my customers the opportunity to use these programs, or it, I just make it easy for them. Okay, other. Google Air. I put this on for uh, a nice way if my customers are messing around they'll go on Google Earth and have a look around the world. Steam, I install this for the kids. Um, a nice little program to download games for the kids to mess around with. It does have a massive archive of games. So if we go across, 7-Zip. I install 7-Zip as it's a nice little um, feature for obviously customers to compress, extract and view files in compressed formats. I used to use WinRAR, although personally I think it's a little bit bloatware these days. Uh, it comes up with an option to buy it, no one ever buys it, although I do advise people to buy it because it obviously helps the developers has been going on for a lot of years, but I think 7-Zip's just nice and slimline and does everything that you need. Um, Team Viewer 12, I install this for customers for the simple reason, if they have an issue, I can then easily remote in uh, and resolve their issues. All I have to do is open the program. Once the program's open, they'll give me the ID and the password, um, and then obviously, then I can remote in to connect the computers. I use this sometimes or if a computer is being in for repair, um, they might not have had the, the printers might not get installed. They might have little think little tweaks which they need doing. So then I'll use Team Viewer to remote in, install a printer, or configure the computer how the customer liked it before they brought it into me. Next, Image Burn. I install this. Uh, it's just a nifty little tool burning CDs or DVDs or ISOs. Um, not everybody uses it these days because obviously with the growth of online cloud data storage or USBs or external hard drives but it's a nice little thing if someone has a DVD drive. Okay, that looks like it's a lot of it so what we'll do then is get Nine out. We'll then obviously pull these uh, programs together in a nice little file um, and we're obviously into the next thingy. So these are uh, obviously all the programs which I want to download. <clears throat> it's taken a little while to think about it, but what I'm going to do instead is retry the download. <sighs> but Microsoft Edge never seems to want to work. Here we go. Save as. I'm going to save it to the desktop in case uh, in the future I need to update any of the programs, I'm worried any of the programs are out of date, I can then click on the program, it will cross-check the programs, the current and the previously installed, update them um, to obviously the current version. So we're going to save that. Running security scans. If I then click view, there we go, it's done. So what I'm going to do is close um, Microsoft Edge for the simple reason uh, I want the computer to have full resources to easily install all these programs. So here we go. Let's prepare the setup file. Do I want to allow this application to make changes? Of course I do. I've downloaded this um, executable file. I've been on the website and I've chosen it. Obviously I've been to the website uh, which I know is secure um, and safe. So yes I do. So here we go, it's preparing the setup. So what it's doing now, um, it will download each individual program. So obviously what I've chosen, Firefox, Chrome, Silverlight, Air, Java, Shockwave, 7-Zip, Steam, ImageBurn, TeamViewer 12, VLC, Google Drive, Kalite, Codex Pack, 
um, Skype, Spotify, Dropbox, iTunes, .net, Google Earth, Avast and Malwarebytes. Obviously, um, I'm going to put this into turbo mode now. Um, and what we'll do, it will download all the programs um, and install them. Obviously, as you can see, um, Firefox is currently installing. Google Chrome is downloading. So what we'll do, fly through, install them, and then whoopity doo da yippity day we'll have all of our programs installed. Nice, easy program, um, fast, efficient, and obviously it does everything it says on the lid. So what I'll do in, obviously, um, my blog below, I will uh, include a link for where you can download all these programs. Yeah, sorry. So where you can go to obviously see uh, Ninant. You can obviously choose what you want, but all I'm saying is, this is what I use for my customers. Um, my customers are happy with this. Obviously, we've been in business for nearly two decades. Um, Nine Night is relatively new, although we have been using this for about three years now, I think. Um, so it's up to you what you want to choose. You can choose anything in that list, install it. You can have a fiddle around, uninstall it, whatever. It's entirely up to you. Um, but again, um, the power's in your hands. So thank you very much for watching. I'm Darren from Kingfisher. Um, and please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any issues, please give us a call at Kingfish Computers. Thanks. Bye.